Okay, in the first video, I showed you how to use a free Google plugin, Google Chrome extension plugin to get lawyer blog topics. In the second video, I showed you how to use some expert search engine optimization software to get personal injury lawyer blog topics. In video number three, I showed you what's probably the easiest way to get lawyer blog topics. And that is just, hey, you're a lawyer, put laws on your website. Uh, it's totally explained in video number three. In this final video regarding divorce lawyers, uh, and by the way, you can use any of these methods for any lawyer niche and really any online marketing uh, business, you can use these methods. But for the final video, I'm going to use divorce lawyer blog topics. I'm gonna to show you how to completely dominate any city just by divorce lawyer blogging. Let's get to it. Okay, how to find divorce lawyer blog topics, family lawyer blog topics. Uh, it's just gonna be easy, okay? This is almost going to be as easy as what I showed you in the criminal law video. Uh, basically, we're not going to innovate here. We're going to find the winners and we're just going to copy the winners, okay? It's that easy. Let's say that we are in Brooklyn, okay? and you're a divorce lawyer and you need to generate some blog topics so that you can generate some long tail search so that you can generate new clients every month. We're gonna to go to Brooklyn. And we're gonna plug in your particular city. B-R-O-K-L-Y-N, divorce lawyer. Okay, real quick, I wanna talk about what if I'm in a small city? What if I'm not in Brooklyn? Or what if I'm in any city? Whatever state you are in, okay, because family law is basically state jurisdiction. Whatever state you are in, just take the largest city and search that city divorce lawyer, okay? You just need to find the winners in your state. You can try a few different cities. Uh, I'm only telling you this because if you're in a small city, you might not have any kind of, this just might not work in a small city. You're going to have to go to a bigger city. But anyways, here we're pretending we're in Brooklyn. So Brooklyn divorce lawyer, you hit in. Right. The first thing you want to do is scroll to the bottom of the page and Google gives you long tail search here. OK, um, cheap divorce lawyers in Brooklyn. I don't know if you want to put that on your website, but you totally could. I bet that generates clients all the time and lawyers are just afraid. They're embarrassed to rank for it. So there's probably zero competition. I would totally rank for that. But in this instance, we have scrolled to the bottom of the screen and we don't have very good options for long tail search. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at who's winning here, okay? Um, <clears throat> what I want you to avoid, of course, you're not going to analyze Yelp. You're not going to analyze Justia. But you see this? It says GilmerLegal.com. I want to make a quick distinction here because some... On some of these search results pages, you'll see something like brooklyndivorcelawyer.com or you'll see a domain name, a website name, and it will have the actual keyword in it like brooklyndivorcelawyer.com or divorceattorneybrooklyn.net. Don't bother analyzing those sites, okay? Those sites have got to page one mainly because of their domain name and you throw some decent backlinks at it and it's going to rank. But this guy, or this person, Gilmer Legal, that is a branded domain. You want to pay particular attention to the branded domains. The domain names that don't have the keyword in the title. It's just like Smith Law Firm or Johnson Lawyers. You know, to pay attention to the brand name websites because the reason they are on page one is almost only because of really good SEO. So what we have here is we have Gilmer Legal. I'm just going to open this up in a different tab. Uh, we have Avo going to ignore, going to ignore fine law, but we have Geis Law. That's another branded domain name. I'm going to open that up in a new tab. Elliot Green Law, open that up in a new tab. So this for this particular search, there are only three actual attorneys. The rest are uh, uh, authority sites like lawyer.com, yellowpages.com. So let's go, if you want, you could go to page two until you get 10 different lawyers. But basically what we're going to do, we're going to find the winners. That's always step one, find the freaking winners, okay? Um, 
right here. You can, this guy is on page one for uncontested, no fault divorce. So what I would do if I was you in this city is I would write <clears throat> either a page or a blog article about uncontested, no fault divorces in the NYC. Okay. But anyways, let's go look at his blog. And what you can do is just copy the winners. Of course, you're not going to want to write a blog article about Taylor versus Taylor. Equitable dis distribution is not a 50-50 split. But maybe you could write a blog about equitable, equitable distribution in New York divorces. Okay. Um, <clears throat> New York uncontested divorce, closest thing to San Diego's. Again, you could just pick five blog articles from this winner here and write those same topics. Don't copy the guy, don't plagiarize. But <clears throat> here, incarcerated parents in New York may lose parental rights. You could write a blog article titled, Will I Lose My Parental Rights If I Go to Prison in New York? You know, something to that effect. You're just going to copy the winners. You're not going to plagiarize, okay? You're not going to write word for word what they write. But nobody has a copyright on these topics, common family law topics, and you're going to write about them. Let's go look at the next winner. Virginia Geis. Go to her blog right here. Click on it. And, okay, if you purchase the software that I showed you in the earlier video, I believe it was video number one, or even, no, video number two, really. You purchase that software, you can skip all this. The software is going to tell you what to write about. You don't have the 199 bucks a month to throw down for HRFs. You do it this way, the easier way. Okay. Boom. Every one of my divorce lawyer clients has something about social media and divorce law on their website because it's a hot topic right now. And, of course, this winner, who's already on the page one of Google, has that on her website. You're just going to copy it. Okay, equitable division. She's a winner. She's writing about equitable division. Gilmer's a winner. What is he writing about? <clears throat> equitable distribution. Okay, the winners. Okay, I'm telling you, copy the winners, and the winners are copying the winners. Okay, uh, you need to take note of that. All right. <laughs> But I'm going to show you one more trick. Let's think about equitable division New York divorce law. Okay, we're going to go back to Google and we're going to type that in. Okay, that blog article, we've seen that topic in two different blog articles. So now we're going to go to Google and kind of expand our research. We're going to go E Q U I T A B L E division New Equitable Distribution New York. We're going to click on that. Google. I didn't. I typed equitable division N E, and then Google started suggesting other searches that other people are searching. Google will help you. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll. Why are we going to scroll? Because we're looking for the long tail at the bottom. Boom! New York separate property. That's a blog article. Premarital assets in divorce N Y. That's a blog article. NYS equitable distribution statutory factors. That's your H1 tag. That's the title of your blog article. Look at this. Is New York a community property state for death? <clears throat> New York divorce law alimony. All of these are blog articles. I bet it domestic relations law. If you make this your exact topic, domestic relations law section 236 Bravo 5 Delta. That will get search traffic. You will be the only lawyer with that blog article on your website, and you're going to pull in people from the top of the funnel, okay? People who have run afoul of whatever this law is in divorce law in New York, and they're kind of investigating what's going on. They get to your website, and now you're kind of their lawyer. You pull them further into your funnel. Anyways, let's look at the third winner, okay? Here's Elliot Green. We're going to go to Elliot Green's blog. And let's see what this winner is writing about. Can my alimony, can my online activity affect my custody case? What did I just told you? All right, I told you every one of my lawyers has something with social media and divorce. That's one winner. The winners are copying the winners. Four things to know about social media. 
can my online online activity affect my custody case? So, whatever city you're in, go to Google and search that city, whatever lawyer niche, okay? You're in San Diego, you're a DWI lawyer. Go search San Diego DWI lawyer. Look at <clears throat> all the lawyers on page one who don't have keywords in their domain name. You want to ignore like San Diego DWI lawyer, DUI lawyer, San, San Diego. Uh, I don't have time to fully explain why you want to do that in this video, but just trust me, just pay attention to the branded websites. Someone whose law firm is like Smith Law, and that person is on page one for San Diego DUI, is doing some seriously really great SEO. Those are the ones you want to look for. Go look at all the branded websites on page one for that search term. Go to their blog and just copy, all right? And when you find something like, can my online activity affect my custody case? Then go back to Google and search something like social media divorce New York NYC. Okay, Google's helping us. They're saying, hey, did you mean this? Yes, I did mean that. You're going to search that. Then what you're going to do is scroll to the bottom and look for long tail. Well, we didn't have any here, but let's do it again. Let's find another blog. Uh, prenuptial agreement, New York. Okay, let's do that. Uh, go to Google search prenuptial, P R E N U P T. Prenuptial agreement, New York. And let's see what kind of long tail we're going to scroll, baby. Scroll to the bottom. And Google gives us all this long tail. You could put a PDF sample of a prenuptial agreement on your website, turn it into a blog article. Kabang! Prenuptial agreement cost. Here's your blog article. How much does a prenuptial agreement cost in New York City? That is a money keyword. Someone searching that is ready to give someone their money. And Google's telling you, write that. So anyways, hopefully the wheels are turning. You're starting to see the dollar signs. Cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. You're starting to see how easy this is. Uh, truthfully, you don't need to hire someone like me because you can do this on your own. But... I'll be glad to take your money. Visit my website, DustinSanchezTV.com. If you are a lawyer, I can put you in the next tax bracket. See ya!